Hey, what's going on guys? It's Story. Uh, it's time for a really easy, simple tutorial on how to install Optifine uh, 1.7.4 and up. It's uh, ridiculously easy, so uh, let's go ahead and do it. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is go to your internet and go to Optifine.net. It will be in the description below or you can just Google it. You'll see it right there. So go to Optifine.net and then go to their downloads page. Now you want to go ahead and install the most recent one. I did uh, HD Ultra, which is the most powerful one, so I'd recommend that. Download the most recent one, and AdFly might do a weird glitch on you. Just go ahead and back uh, uh, back out of it and go back into it, and then it should work. Uh, just wait your five seconds, and then you can go ahead and left click on Skip Ad. So, and you can left click on the download and save it to your desktop. It should take literally no time at all. It's a really small file. And then you find it on your desktop. Go ahead and left click on it. And then click install. It'll say it's done. And for the most part, that's it. There's only one little step left. Uh, when, you, when you open up Minecraft, you just log in. It should prompt you with this login. And then you want to go down to your, your profile. Now you'll see you'll have an Optifine profile and your actual username profile. You can use the Optifine one if you want, but if you want to use your username one, just go ahead and select it and edit profile, and then just click use version and select the Optifine version. And then click save profile. And that's that's all it is. You just go ahead and click play. It launches up like normal, and in case you guys are wondering, I have the uh, faithful texture pack on. That's not part of Optifine. Uh, and then you can go ahead and open up a world. You'll see, you might see a, actually an, an immediate increase in performance. In video settings, you'll have a whole bunch of new options, like a max frame rate option that's a little different, a smooth a smooth lighting level, percentage, fog start, quality, performance, details, all sorts of really useful options. And you can go through, tinker with these, and if you want to know what something does, you just gotta hold your mouse over for three seconds and it'll tell you. So you can go through, tinker around, figure out what works for you, and you should see a boost in, in performance. Um, oftentimes, double like what you were getting before, so I was getting maybe 100 frames, and now I'm getting almost 300. So for me, it was a really huge uh, increase. So yeah, guys, if you found this tutorial useful or helpful, whatever, uh, go ahead and like the video, leave a comment, let me know if you have any suggestions, anything's good. Um, that's pretty much it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.